just say the magic word. Here's your look at the new DC Collectibles DC Essentials. This is the Shazam and Black Adam action figure 2-pack. The DC Essentials action figure line kicks off 2019 with a two-pack featuring Shazam and his arch-nemesis Black Adam. These highly articulated figures can be arranged in numerous poses, allowing you to recreate the showdown you've always imagined. Let's get this review started by taking the measurements, the dimensions for these two figures. Now, I think, based on their bodies, that they're the same exact sized figure. For that reason, I'm going to only take the measurements for one of them, because really, they are the same height to one another. So, either way you slice it, you're looking at figures that stand exactly 7 inches in height, which works in centimeters out to be, let me go ahead and do that right now for you, about 18 centimeters. It's 17 Point 0.8 to be exact. Sadly, neither of the figures come with any accessories whatsoever. However, there are advancements that have been made, certainly in the 2019 releases of the DC Essentials figures based on the precursed 2018, literally and figuratively, the precursed figures that were cursed by having no peg holes on the undersides of their feet. Luckily, the 2019 releases from based on what I've seen so far from these figures as well as the Joker and the Harley Quinn, uh, I think also even the Harley Quinn had it, but they all had peg holes on the undersides of their feet. So uh, we are making progress. We are making progress. I don't know if the companies have just realized that there was no need for removing and just completely omitting peg holes because why would you want to take peg holes away from a figure's standing capabilities? This means that if you do have yourself a clear stand or any sort of display stand, you could attach this. This is just a standard. Um, I think this is I think this is a Funko stand actually of all things, but it has the same sized peg. In other words, if you have problems with figures that don't want to stay up, let's say you have loose legs, loose ankles, not you, not you, the, the figures, you can use display stands. I just kind of wish that the DC Essentials figures could have come with stands. And Shazam and Black Adam, most importantly, I really wish that they could have also come with accessories, lightning bolts, or something cool that you could have attached to their torsos. Sadly, that's not the case. But we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to take that off. That does, does not come with the figures. So just in case somebody says, uh, you know, I got these figures. I didn't get these stands. No, no, you did not, Jacob. Uh, these, This is part of my own collection. So let's have a look at the two figures. Now, I will tell you right off the bat, if you look at them side by side, something very clear is, is quite apparent right out the gate. You'll see it right as soon as you look at these. They are identical molds. They are mold brothers. Also, one of the reasonings why they do have the same height. Of course, yes, the head sculpts are different, but other than that, sadly, they don't have their own uh, standard bodies. Now, I mean, to be fair, none of the essentials, like if you look at muscular of the figures that have been released, like the Supermans and Batmans, for example, they have all pretty much shared this type of body. But capes and stuff like that have drastically changed. It does seem like the capes, even if you like look at them side by side, the capes are identical to one another. So yes, this is simply just a case, Virginia. There is a Santa Claus. The molds have been carried over from this one to this one, just a different paint coat. Okay. Let's have a look at Shazam or Captain Marvel, depending on how you want to refer to him as kind of fitting as well that we got this as a 2019 release and then we also got ourselves a Shazam movie almost as if they planned the whole thing hmm I wonder the head sculpt actually is pretty good kind of a snarky looking kind of cocky looking head sculpt if I could use the term cocky head sculpt I mean it kind of gives you a more golden age look to Captain Marvel but still somewhat keeps him current like the hairstyle and I really do like the face portrait for this guy for example it's different enough from Superman. I think what I'm trying to think of the issue was, was it Aquaman was like the same head sculpt as Superman? I can't even remember now. But luckily for the folks over at DC Collectibles, they decided to make a unique head portrait from what I can remember to uh, Shazam, not shared by any other figure in this line. So good on them. 
Head sculpt is good. I like the very bright crystal blue eyes that they put in the socket sections of Shazam's face. Again, there's something a little bit more kind of snarky and kind of, I don't know, slightly arrogant, I would say, to his face. It's heroic, yes, but it also seems like he's a bit kind of high on himself as well. Just to take that all from a head sculpt. Now, your interpretation of this head sculpt could be completely different than mine, and that's the beauty of the collecting world, is that we all have our own differencing of opinions. But I, I do kind of like the head sculpt because it looks like he's a little on the cocky side. The rest of his body primarily is all molded in red plastic, so you're not going to get a lot of paint going on right there. However, what you are going to be getting is the gold and white in the Shazam logo. Um, the white and gold have both been painted on rather cleanly also, I might say. I don't see any real imperfections in paint that I can spy with my little crooked eye. I do have a crooked eye, don't draw attention to it. Uh, he does also have the same gold that's also in his belt and also in the ringlets of his costume there. All of which do get their own texturing, their own sculpt, quite like that. As we move further down, I don't know if I'm crazy about the boots, in all honesty. The little white areas I wish actually could have been instead swapped out. Uh, possibly for like another lighter shade of gold. That's just my own personal opinion. To be fair though, to the credit of the figure, at least the coloring matches that of this up here. Speaking of matching up there, up there also is where his cape resides. Uh, it has been pegged two places on the top with larger button snaps. These are not removable, by the way. And uh, as we look at the Black Adam, it'll be pretty much the exact same thing, the exact same story. Uh, this one, however, is all white. It's a slightly softer material that they've utilized for the cape. It even has that secondary trim, that secondary part of the cape that drapes over top of that, and that also gets a gold line to it. Um, again, I don't really have any, any real com comments to make when it comes to the gold. It's generally pretty clean. I don't don't see any real imperfections right there. I guess if you flip the cape on the inside, not that I want to be finding fault with it, but a little bit of the gold looks like it messy pooed right on the inside there of the cape. It's not as bad on the other side. I got a little bit of a smudge there, which looks like it might have carried itself from the body. I like actually the red that they went with for this guy. It's not a very bold, dark red, instead favoring almost like a primary red. Really do like the coloring, like the face. Overall, I like the body for Shazam here. So let's have a look at this guy's breakdown when it comes to his articulation. His head rotates all the way around. It hinges quite considerably high, actually and down, uh, not quite left and right tilt. The arms hinge out to about there, no further than there. Forward and back, or I guess you could rotate the arms all the way around as a swivel all the way around on the bicep. A double hinge happening on the elbow for kacha elbow action. You can also rotate the hands all the way around, hinge them back and forth. Shazam also has the upper torso crunch, which is just really stiff on my figure. Results may vary from figure to figure. I'd actually appreciate more a stiffer joint than a loose joint, just FYI. The torso rotates all the way around. Legs split, split, split. And they also go forward, and they also go back, and like I said, they go out. Uh, a swivel about a three-quarter cut on the thigh. There it is right there and it has double hinge on the knee. The boots also rotate all the way around, hinging up and down on the foot, and back and forth ankle rocker. So far, so good. What are you talking about? So far, so good. I don't have any real problems with loose ankles. Something the also some of the earlier uh, essential figures were plagued with. Still to this day, I find my, I think it was my Batman, just impossible to stand. The ankles have become so loose, in fact, that I have to actually lean him against the back of my bookshelf just so the figure doesn't topple over. And I haven't had the figure very long. Moving along, moving along to Black Adam. Not really a whole lot to be talking about here, primarily because he is using the same body. Even like things like the lightning bolt and the cape are pretty much carbon copies to Shazam. In fact, the lightning bolt is a carbon copy to Shazam. What does change, of course, is the colors in which Black Adam pulls his palette from. 
like the cape for example is all black you've got now gold trim which there was to be fair gold trim on shazam he's got the gold trim happening on the top there as well uh, the ringlets singlets ringlets on the uh, outer edges of his sleeves are in gold as well as his belt same thing that Shazam had and also the boots are exactly the same except 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 for the fact that they swapped the white out for the black everything else is identical what you are not getting that's identical though is the new head sculpt for Black Adam I must admit I'm liking this head sculpt quite a bit Whatever fault I find when it comes to the Essentials line, whether it be the way the figures stand, loose joints, for example, or sometimes bad decision-making when it comes to their head portraits, neither really of these figures I have any disappointing comments to make when it comes to their head sculpts. Uh, Black Adams is really clean, other than a bit of a sad smudge, oh, so sad on the side of his cheek there. Uh, again, the paint's really clean on this guy. To the point even where they put an outline right above the top of his eye, right where the eyelash in theory would exist. Love the pointy eyebrows, a slicked back widow's peak. Doesn't seem to have any pointed ears or anything like that, but again, a really nice looking head portrait on this guy. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time talking about Black Adam, because in theory we've already talked about Black Adam with his swapped colored counterpart here, Shazam. So we really won't talk too much about like the cape, the uh, the boots and stuff like that, just because we, again, already covered basis on all of that. The material still is the soft kind of rubbery plastic that they would have used for the cape on Shazam, also makes appearances here for Black Adam. So why don't we look at this guy's posability, which again would be the exact same, so we don't really have to spend a whole lot of additional time happening there. You still got this incredible look up. Uh, some of the best I've seen recent figures, the way that they've been able to get it as high as they can. I mean, you could, in theory, have them, if you had a proper flight stand, you could put them in flying poses. Probably a little bit more entertaining and interesting than what I'm currently doing right now. Uh, upper torso crunch, all the same on the arms, all the same swivel and rotation, bicep, double hinge elbows, hands, all that stuff is all the same. Crunch on the torso, a little bit looser on Black Adam, but not to the point where I start worrying about it. Swivel back and forth, legs, forward, back, swivel, been there, all done that. Not to say that you have to fast forward this part of this review, please don't. But uh, all the articulation is the same. Uh, by the way, also, not loose legs so far, thus far, when it comes to Black Adam. I'm sure progressively it will be the case as these figures continue to sit out on my shelf, unplayed with, unplayed with, and yet they'll still develop looseness. I am actually a bit loose, I'm not, but it's a bit loose here on one of Black Adam's legs. Not to the point of embarrassment where this figure is going to topple over if I bring somebody over to showcase my collection and make them an egg salad sandwich. I'm all about making egg salad sandwiches when people come over and see the collection. Uh, certainly no embarrassing parts will likely happen with either one of these falling over, pro providing you can get the proper stance for these. Overall, like I said, pretty happy. Pretty happy with how these figures turned out. There are only omitted points, the negative points I could make, are things that were left out. Why oh why do we still not get display stands with these guys? And why oh why, if these are magic-based characters, heroes and villains, why could we not have gotten some energy constructs, electricity, lightning bolts, or something that you could have put around their arms, around their torso, or something that they could possibly have hold in their hands? Oh, right, yes. They also don't have swappable hand options, so even if they did come with those accessories, they wouldn't be able to hold them anyways. Sigh. You know, I thought I would be a little bit more disappointed the fact that both of these figures are mold brothers to one another, sharing the exact mold from basically the top of their neck to the bottom of their feet, and yet spending a few hours with both the figures before the camera started rolling, and over the course of this review, I can still walk away safely saying I'm not too bothered, in all honesty, the fact that they are using the same molds. Of course, most of the DC Essentials figures anyways are using the same molded, muscled bodies, so these ones really shouldn't be coming to anyone's surprise. I guess one of the debatable topics is the cape. Black Adam also is sporting a cape, the same as Shazam. 
I don't really ever think of Black Adam myself as having the cape, so maybe down the road, if push comes to shove, I might be inclined to probably take the cape off of Black Adam and do some touch-up work, because I'm sure it's going to probably take off some of the paint. Maybe they could have considered having Black Adam sans le cape, without the cape. That would have certainly made them a little bit more unique to one another, where they wouldn't feel like they were carbon copies. Still, it doesn't bother me too much. It would certainly bother me a lot more if they made use of the same head sculpt, but that would be absolutely ludicrous. You know what is a bit ludicrous, a word that I don't frequently use too often in reviews, is the fact that they don't come with display stands. I know in final looks here you're looking at a display stand on the underside, the underfoot of Shazam. It's only because the figure fell over a couple of times, so to avoid that I put precautions in place and I've got him on a display stand but you know what perplexes me is the fact that for this set being so good I really wish that they could have come with display stands could have come with electricity lightning bolts and anything else that you would really consider to be Shazam like I think would have been a really nice way to beef up this two pack just so they don't feel so light when you got them out of packaging now, to be fair, you don't have to get these necessarily singular. The only way to get these is in the two-pack. Maybe if they were packaged separately, you never know, maybe they would have come with some extra accessories, but it really wouldn't matter anyways, because like I said, they don't have the hands to properly support accessories anyways. A decent enough set if you've been collecting the DC Essentials lineup up to this point. Uh, like I said, you get both figures, not for the price of one. That would be, I would be jumping on that in a heartbeat. You do, you do get two figures for basically the price of two figures and no accessories. Uh, the DC Essentials, like I said, it's one of those lines, unfortunately. They brand it as the Essentials, like there's no other figure that you'd want to pick up for said character. But really, calling it Essentials and to be omitting accessories, I still think they probably could include something with these figures, even if you're getting two figures, not for the price of one, but for the price of two. Some good news, though, my, my friends and colleagues of the interweb, a long-winded final looks. If you are interested in picking up the new DC Essentials Shazam and Captain uh, Black, Black Adam, I want to say Captain Marvel, still thinking Captain Marvel. If you want to pick up Shazam and Black Adam for yourself, this two-pack should be available right now in local comic book stores. So grab them today. And today we were having a look at the new DC Essentials Shazam and Black Adam. Sort of samesies, but at the very least, the samesies are still turning out to be two decent enough looking figures. If you want to go back and have a look at some of my other DC Essentials figure reviews, there's playlists, lots, well, there's one playlist with lots of videos, as I pretty much have covered all the DC Essentials figures up to this point, FYI. And FYI, also, if you haven't done so already, and you want to stay tuned and stay on, on track with this channel, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, because certainly more videos will be coming your way. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.